What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Love C. Shout it, man, and no, you do not have to tell me how lit my intro was, man, because I know already. I made it myself. Oh, yeah. But yeah, man, that shit made you laugh, man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Stop being green, nigga. Hit the damn subscribe button, man. Ain't gonna take you but a second, bro. You do it a thousand times a day anyway, man. And for all my motherfucking subs, man, go ahead and hit that like button if you want this intro to keep going, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, we're gonna get into this video, man. I got a lot of shit on the way, bro. I'm about to drop some crazy gameplay with my stretch beast, my nigga. And I just want to go ahead and get ahead of all the questions, bro. Because I know y'all niggas going to be asking me, what's your jump shot? What's your custom jump shot? How you shoot so good, shawty? How you get a green light every time? Don't worry, my nigga. Say no more. I got you, bro. I got you. I'm about to share all these tips with y'all right now, man. This is my official shooting tutorial, my nigga. So sit back, grab you some popcorn, and pay close attention, bro, because I'm going to be going over a lot of shit that most YouTubers don't usually go over, bro. We're going to go into detail with this shooting system, bro, because I done, I done got that shit down pat, my nigga. I'm, I'm the catch and shoot guru around this motherfucker, dog. So pay attention, man. This might be a long video, bro. So you know what I'm saying? If you ain't with that shit, go ahead and click off the video now and check out some of my other videos, man. But yeah, bro, I'm going to break this shit down into five sections, bro. We got spacing, hot spots, badges, ball movement, catch and shoot animations. And I'm going to throw in a little bonus for y'all boys at the end so y'all can be at y'all best when y'all go to the park, man. So without further ado, we just going to go ahead and get into this video, man. Try to keep up. Now, the first thing I want to talk to y'all boys about in this video is spacing. And when I say spacing, I mean the amount of space that it takes to be between you and your defender in order for you to get an uncontested green light shot off. Yes, uncontested. Never shoot contested shots. Deep range dead I was passed a long time ago, bruh. A long time ago. That badge is useless now. I have it on gold. That bitch pops up every now and then. And it's usually on a play where I didn't even need that bitch in the first place, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even worried about getting that bitch on Hall of Fame, bruh. But if I get that bitch in the process of grinding for other badges, hell yeah, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't dwelling on it. But anyway, you have to know the spacing when you taking your shots. When you catch the ball, you need to know if your man is close enough to bother you. If he not, pull it in his face. Green bean all day. If he is close enough, you also need to know some ways to create some space so you can pull up because you don't want to pass out of every opportunity. I look at a lot of my old videos and I see that I missed some opportunities because my man closed out on me and I immediately passed out of it. And then there's other instances where I get the ball and I have a little bit of space and I do a quick move real quick and create more space, but I still pass out of it because I done got shook by the nigga being so close. So in this fucking segment right here, I want to show y'all some good examples of me shooting good high percentage shots on good spacing and at the end i'm gonna show y'all some ways to create some space if you're not quite as open as you want to be now in this play right here you'll see geo dude come right in front of me so i give him the ball he draws both guys in with this so i get the ball back and immediately i see them fixing to come in on me so i step back and create a whole lot of space now i can pull up because i have limitless range that's green for me all day and as you can see my man is nowhere near me so he presses triangle in one last desperate attempt to contest my shot but it's too late now now you see Geodude got a rebound right here and he passes it to me so I can clear the ball. As I clear it, I see him set me that screen and create a whole lot of space for me. Neither one of them can contest me at this point, so I'm going to pull up with a limitless range shot. And that's a green. Automatic, bro. Now in this clip right here, Geodude has a clear lane to the basket for the game point. They realize that and collapse on him. He passes it back to me. I'm wide open. My man is on his way back to me, but he is in a defensive posture right now. He does not have the momentum to bother me, even though he is close enough to bother me. So when I pull up, that's an automatic green bean in his face. Game over. Now I'm going to run this clip without pausing it this time because I know y'all boys get the picture now. 
Now you see Geo do fixing to kill this boy and get open on the basket cut real quick. Now, full momentum to the basket, he could take that dunk. But he's like, no, I want the three. So he passes it back to me. As you see, my man is helping. So he's backpedaling towards Geo dude. I'm wide open for a shot. He's not close enough to contest me, nor does he have the momentum to even get back to me in time. So that's green bean all day. Now I'm gonna give y'all boys a couple of tips on how to create some space if you ain't got it off rip. As you can see here, I'm using hesitation normal one. This is the best step back on the game and it creates a lot of space. If you don't know how to do it, all you have to do is run left or right and flip the right stick down as you run it side to side like that. It's real simple. It creates space and it's an ankle breaker move too. So if you got ankle breaker on your sharpshooter, you might be able to catch your an ankle and create some more space for yourself. Now another one of the best moves on the games that y'all boys can use is the snatch back. Everybody uses this move, it is one of the most effective moves in the game. It catches mad ankles and it creates a lot of space. It's especially good in fast break situations. If you have a guy chasing you down trying to block your dunk, you can pull that bitch at the fucking three point line, pull up a nice little wide open three point shot because he probably still gonna be running to the basket to try to block your shit. All you gotta do to do this is sprint, hold down R2, and flip the right stick down, snatch back, pull up. Now here's a move that I never see anybody use in the park, bro, and I don't know why. I use it all the time, especially on 2v2s. But as you can see, I sprint to the three-point line and I flick up on the right stick. And it gives me a nice little turnaround hop step animation that I could either speed boost out of or pull up for a good spot up shot. It's pretty much a good way to test your defender. If he's sagging off while you do this, pull that bitch up, bro. You'll make that shit every time because it creates that space. Nobody ever uses that shit, bro. Take my advice on that, bro. Use it. Now, here's another little hesitation y'all boys can use that I never see anybody use. And it gives you a nice little step back that creates a little bit of space. Low-key type space, though, bro, because it, it ain't as flashy as the normal hesitation one. So what you want to do is pretty much you're going to run side to side and you're going to flick the right stick in the direction of your ball hand. So if you run it to the right, flick it to the right. If you run it to the left, flick it to the left. It'll create a little bit of space and you can pull up in a nigga face, bro. You know what I'm saying? You see all the space that it creates and it's a nice little bounce. It's real subtle. So niggas don't never really see it coming, bro. Now, another move y'all boys can use is the standing step back. And all you have to do is hold R2 and flip the right stick down. Now, you see this creates a lot of space, but this move does vary between basic size up packages. So yours might be different from mine, but this move also catches ankles. So you good to go either way. And last but not least, I want to tell y'all boys about the triple threat. I never see anybody using triple threat moves, but these jab steps are definitely effective, especially if you playing against a nigga who struggles on defense and he has his defensive assist up. He will definitely fall for that shit and probably don't even mean to, but his defensive assist will help him. Well, his defensive assist will make him fall for that shit and I learned this move in my career because whenever I want to get some space for a three I just hit a jab step and my man falls backwards and I be like okay that's enough space I'm gonna pull it up and usually I hit that bitch I do it all the time bro so try it in the park some niggas will fall for that shit bro use everything in your arsenal bro now in this segment right here I want to briefly touch on hot spots because they are also very important in this game as you can see, I have a red ring around my player indicator. That indicates a hot spot. And as you see, as I'm walking around the three point line, it has not changed from red. And I will be walking through the whole court on this segment right here. And you will see that my player indicator is steadily red. That's because my whole floor is lit. My whole floor is lit. And that's because I play my career. The way you do that is you play my career. When you grind for your badges, you have to take smart shots. You have to have a high field goal percentage percentage from every spot on the court in order to get the whole floor red like that and you want to have your whole floor red so that the shot meter can be a little bit more forgiving when you shoot the ball now it feels like it's a little bit smoother when I shoot in a hot spot but my whole floor is lit so I really can't tell the difference but one thing I did notice is that the shot meter is a little bit more forgiving if you're in your hot spot if you mess up your release you still have a good chance of it going in unless you just totally messed up the release but yeah make sure you get your hot spots bro get on my career take smart shots 
Now, moving right along, we're going to talk about badges. But I want to talk about badges in the sense of staying in your lane and also playing with other art types that complement your art type. Meaning that if you're a sharpshooter or a stretch big, you don't need to be trying to play like a playmaker. You don't. You have no business dribbling. Like spot up and wait for a nigga to get you open. Mainly a playmaker. You should be playing with a playmaker because a playmaker is designed to dribble around and cause confusion and get your ass open. And then when he hits you, you got the dimer boost on that fucking shot before you even pull up. So yes, stay in your lane and play with niggas that complement your art type. And it's a wrap at that point. If y'all two get in sync and y'all really got good chemistry, it's a fucking wrap, bro. If you don't believe me, check out these clips I'm about to show you, man. Some of my favorite highlights when I be playing with my niggas, man. Now, very first play of this game, we already in the street, so we got our offense already in sync already. We in the groove of this shit, so you see the ball goes to Geo Dude first. He's on his point forward. He already getting set up. I'm setting up in the corner, because that's my spot. My man ain't even chasing me over there, so I'm wide open. So you see, I got a wide open shot in the corner. Green bean, all motherfucking day. Now, let's talk about the badges. There's so many badges that just came into effect right there. You know what I'm saying? You got... Geo dude on his playmaker. So first of all, Dimer Hall of Fame is coming in, and as you can see, Corner Specialist Hall of Fame is on my end, and at the same time, I got Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame. So that's three badges working together on one single play, and I'm in a hot spot. Automatic green light, my nigga, because I know my shot. You know what I'm saying? Now, once again, we're in a streak and we're already in the groove of our offense. So, me and Geo Dude got our grand badges activated. So, now it's pretty much a wrap, bro. Geo Dude just playing, trying to catch some ankles. I see that my man is sagging way off. So, I'm like, okay, let me give Geo Dude some space and run over to the other wing real quick. And he sees that already. So, he passes it to me. I'm wide open. My man is in the paint. He can't do nothing at this point. Wide open, green light, bro. You know what I'm saying? He should have been on me, bro. You too late at this point. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to go back to the badges once again. You got Dimer Hall of Fame. Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame. And now, Limitless Range Hall of Fame. Not to mention, two grand badges. That's five badges in one play, bro. Like, knowing my shot was the only thing. Not knowing my shot was the only thing that would have fucked that play up. But that's an automatic green for me right there because all them badges that came into play right there. Now, this play right here is like one of my favorites of all time. You see all three of us are activated right here. So, we getting ready to do some crazy shit. Now, you see Geo do snapping this nigga ankles right here. Immediately, that's ankle breaker and that's bone collector. So, right here, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go for the corner and we'll let him dime me up. So, he sees that. He throws me a flashy pass. Flashy pass, Hall of Fame. Dimer, Hall of Fame. I'm in the corner. Catch and shoot, Hall of Fame. Corner specialist, Hall of Fame. Green light. I know my shot. And I'm in a hot spot. You know what I'm saying? And he got the seven O's badge. So, that was, he just got a boost on the highlight plate. That was beautiful, bro. Perfectly executed play right there. You know what I'm saying? It's all about badges, bro. So, it's like, what? One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine badges in one fucking play, bro. Are you kidding me? Only way I would have fucked that up is if I would have fucked up my goddamn release. And you know that's not going to happen at this point, my nigga. Because my stretch beats is a god. Now, in this segment right here, I want to cover ball movement, teamwork, and overall chemistry. Now, the best piece of advice I could give you in this matter right here is do not play with randoms because randoms don't care about teamwork. All they want to do is see how many points they can score. They will leave you wide open all the time. And that's why my record started off so damn ass. And I'm still trying to recover from that right now. But yeah, make sure you get your squad together. Play with your friends, man. As you see right here, I got my boy Geo dude with me as usual, bro. I've been rocking with him since 2K16. I got my nigga Izzy with me. We've been playing for a couple of months now. We we already have a good chemistry together. We play together all the time. We know what we know how to play with each other. We've been playing together for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, we always be in party chat. So if I'm wide open and nobody sees it, I'm going to tell them. And once I tell them, they usually pass me the ball and I green light that bitch all day. You know what I'm saying? 
but I definitely want to touch on ball movement because I learned this little tidbit in Pro-Am when I was playing with Twitchy for that short little time. I noticed that there would be a lot of times when we will be running up court, like maybe on a fast break or some shit like that, and a sharpshooter would have the ball, and he'll stop, and he'll pull up wide the fuck open, and he'll break. But then on the next play, if we move the ball around a little bit and he's going wide open, that shit usually goes straight in, bro. I don't know why 2K set it up like that, but I mean, that's how it works, bro. You have to move the ball around. So before you take a shot, try to make sure you get at least two or three passes off the floor because that'll give you a boost. And plus, you'll get the dimer boost if the last pass is from a playmaker. Can't beat that, can you? Now, I'm going to show y'all boys a couple of clips so I can give you a visual example of what I mean by good ball movement. And also, you'll get a chance to see the benefits of that good ball movement. Now, you see, we, we on the inbound. Immediately, my man is smothering me. He won't let me in the paint. So, I break off and run to the corner and try to get me a corner shot since he's so worried about me in the paint. But 2K didn't give me the animation to get in the corner. So, I got to pass it out because my man closed out on me. Izzy don't have an open shot either, so he passes it to Geodude. My man is on Geodude now. He has no choice but to pick him up. His man is still trying to catch up to him because he don't have the IQ to switch on me. So I break away from all that confusion in the corner. Izzy sees me wide the fuck open. My man is now trying to catch up to me, and he ain't nowhere near close enough to bother me. So that's automatic for me, bruh. Green bean make your bitch scream. You know what I'm saying? That's what ball movement does, bruh. It creates confusion. Now, I'm going to show y'all boys one more example of good ball movement. Now, you see Geodude playing around. He's trying to bait his man in. As he finally baits him in, he speed boosts right past him, and he hits me in the corner. My man closes out, so I pass it to Geodude because I see him cut into the basket. But he has too much defense on him to make that layup. So, therefore, he passes it back to Izzy, who's much bigger and can hit the layup. But Izzy, I guess, got shook right there, and he hit him again so it's all good because now all three of these niggas in the paint my man playing that help defense opened me up and you know that's automatic green light when you leave me that open because you're not close enough to bother me that is confusion result of good ball movement bruh not to mention a high percentage shot because we made five passes before a shot was taken now the last thing i want to talk about in this video is catch and shoot animations now I've looked into it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have not seen any other YouTuber touch on the subject matter of catch and shoot animations. Now, what I mean by catch and shoot animations, now you know sometimes niggas can throw you a horrible pass and it puts you in a catch animation that makes you have to like turn your body or go backwards to catch the ball. And sometimes if you catch that shit and you try to shoot it immediately, you'll get that ugly ass pull up shot or that turnaround shot because you haven't taken the time to let your body square up with the rim. And that's the main point of the catch and shoot animations. When you catch good passes, it always ends up in a smooth animations that you can shoot out of immediately. So it's best to play with a playmaker that can throw you good accurate passes because when you catch those accurate passes, those catch animations go right into your jump shot and it looks so beautiful as you can see right here beautiful catch and shoot animation off of a beautiful pass so basically the way you want to do this is you want to spot up of course because as a sharp shooter or a stretch big it is your job to spot up when you spot up your man will throw you the ball once you catch that pass pay attention to how you catch that and time it time your shot with the end of that animation meaning it should be a smooth transition from catch animation to shoot animation. And it looks so beautiful when you do it right, bro. And it's usually an automatic green because the timing just makes your shot meter a lot more forgiving because you're using the mechanics of the game the way they're supposed to be used. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's real sexy, bro. It's real fucking sexy. I love to catch and shoot because it looks beautiful. I mean, look at this. You see, we on the fast break. Geo dude hits me in the corner. I catch that bitch, and you see, I smoothly go into my shot off that catch animation. Wasn't that sexy, dog? Green light, bro. You know what I'm saying? Another one. Geo dude is running down court. He catches me right here. Immediately, I catch the ball. As soon as I plant my feet, I pull up. I'm already square with the rim 
I'm already square with the rim because he's throwing me an accurate pass to begin with. Now, it's a lot harder to do this when niggas don't throw you accurate passes, but even still, don't be so quick to shoot the ball. Let the animation finish and then shoot the ball. It's best to sit there for a second if you have the time. If you have the time, hold the ball for a minute and just wait. Wait for your man to square up and then shoot. You know what I'm saying? Unless you have a man that's about to close out on you. But the point is, you want to shoot the most accurate shot that you can, bro. Shoot the most accurate shot that you can. And it's always going to be green if you let the animation finish. Like right here, you see me. I turn right around off of that animation and I shot the ball. Beautiful. Geo dude misses the shot. Center catches the rebound right in the corner. You see my feet plant. Beautiful animation, bro. Let the catch and shoot animation finish before you actually shoot. Look at this, planting my feet as I go through the catch. Beautiful animation. Let the animation go through. Let it finish, bro. Now, I'm gonna give y'all boys one last tip, and this is the most important tip of them all. If you don't know this one, bro, none of the five tips that I just gave you matter at all whatsoever, bro. I like to call this segment, know your shot. Yes, know your shot. Please learn your shot, bro. Because after patch one, like after they patch the sharpshooters and the stretch bigs or whatever, like it, it's not go. It's probably not going in if it's not green. I mean, that's just my take on it, bro. Because that's what I experienced in the park. When I go to the park, bro, it don't matter if it's right on the fucking line. If it's not green, it's probably not going in. I got about a fifty cent. Damn. 50 cents <laughs> no but i got about a 50 percent chance of my shot going in if it's not green that's why i shoot so many green lights bro because it's like no i have to hit a green i have no choice but to hit a green bro i know my shot bro like as you see right here this is my pre-part routine i have to hit at least 10 green lights before i go to the park if i can't hit 10 green lights then i will change my jump shot and see if i can hit 10 green lights with the new one bro and you can see I'm doing a crazy little technique while I'm shooting from out of bounds. As you can see, when I go out of bounds, my shot meter disappears and I'm still hitting green lights. Try it out, bro. Try it out. It is a good fucking technique because you can't pay attention to the shot meter because there's a lag time in the park, but in your mock court is smooth. So in order to get that shit down pat, you have to know the timing of your shot and you have to know the form of it. You have like, that's why it's good to use a custom jump shot because it's a jump shot that you actually sculpted from the bottom up. You know what I'm saying? And if you learn that shit, you learn the form of your shot, automatic green light, bro. You see me, I'm hitting major green lights, bro. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just putting them bitches up. Green light special, my nigga, slime time. You know what I'm saying? You know how I rock, bro. But yeah, that's it, bro. Pay attention to the form of your shot. Learn the time and learn the form, bro. And you'll hit a green light every time. Don't listen to these other YouTubers, though. If you go in your hot spot, that's an automatic green light. Nigga, there's no such thing as an automatic green light. Learn your fucking shot, bro. But yeah, man. I hope this shit was helpful to y'all niggas, man. Let me know if y'all boys want me to give y'all any more kind of tips or whatever. I do the best I can. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and bring y'all this motherfucking gameplay with my stretch beast, man. This nigga is a fucking beast, my nigga, as you can see from all these green lights, man. But yeah, hit that subscribe button if you're new, man. Leave a like if you want to, my nigga. And I'm signing off, man. Love, see you, shout it, bro. Thanks for watching.